What's up neighbors? Uh, here one more time. Um, this video is a little tricky. Um, just want to tell you that sometimes uh, there's a lot of external factors causing stress and uh, we have to move through them. I've been watching Avatar The Last Airbender and uh, part of the teachings of that show uh, watch it, please watch it if you if you haven't. It's a really good show. Uh, it's on Netflix now, and uh, it's an amazing show. Part of the teachings is that you let go of attachment, and uh, sometimes things are over your head, and you just uh, move with them. Let the big pieces move and do your part as best as you can, and uh, move along. But um, there's a there's a property in Berkeley that I've been seeing several times and I never stopped to take a closer look and uh, I want to share this property with you um, it's uh, an oasis um, that um, looks like a pound collector and I will flip the camera over and uh, show you a little bit and um, excuse me if uh, I'm not focusing right but anyway we have a pump collector what looks like several different uh, species and genus of pumps here and we have the camera ups here uh, camera ups humilis family aracasi e aracasi and um, these are uh, pretty pretty well armed as you can see here um, sharp petiole uh, spines uh, nice fan leaves um, these are uh, the only palm native to the Mediterranean as I understand it maybe I'm wrong again uh, as I express in many of my videos uh, I might misinform you so do some research yourself too uh, uh, it's not my purpose to misinform you, but uh, as I'm learning, I'm doing these videos to help myself uh, talk through the vocabulary of horticulture and botany and uh, remember the names of plants and trees and shrubs and palms. Um, again, palms are monocots that uh, you know evolved to grow big trunks. So. Uh, parallel venation on all the leaves uh, I'm not sure if you can see that well again my camera is flipped over so I can't see what I'm filming um, camera up humilis this looks like a sabal palm I'm not sure of the actual uh, uh, species of the genus but I'm pretty sure it's a sabal uh, we have the Queen Palm, which is the Cyagorus Romansofiana. Uh, so studying uh, some palms, I realized that there's two uh, families of palms. Uh, one is the Eric Casey, and then the other one, I can't tell you right now, but I found out uh, about them um, a little while ago doing some internet research. Uh, the Panama hat palms, they're from uh, Borneo and uh, Southeast Asia and they're actually in a different family that is not the Eric Casey. So anyway, uh, what looks here to be uh, Jubea, uh, Jubea cocoides I believe. Again, uh, this one is um, covered uh, by a blackberry bramble. So I can't be so sure because I uh, it's also a young one uh, knowing by the height uh, this can get up to like 25 30 I've seen some about 30 feet tall uh, Jubea no no Cocoides sorry Jubea chilensis from Chile uh, and but I'm not sure this might be a different one I don't remember uh, seeing uh, 
spines on the petioles of the jubeas. Uh, maybe it's a young specimen and that's why they have uh, the petioles are armed. So anyway, there's, there's more more research to be done on my part. Uh, and again, I never really prepare to do these videos, I just do them. Um, here we have uh, the windmill palm, uh, Trachycarpus. What is this called? Trachycarpus. Uh, la 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 la. I don't remember. It might come to me in a minute. Uh, these are from uh, the higher elevations of uh, China and uh, Asia, and these are pretty uh, cold tolerant. Uh, they're pretty hardy. They're from uh, snowy mountains in Asia, Trachycarpus, uh, ba 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 Ooh, it doesn't come to me. Anyway, I love these palms. These are really cute. Uh, one of the, the, the great things I love about these palms is the, the furry trunk. Uh, all these fibrous trunks. Uh, I love uh, shoving uh, epiphytes in between the the leaf attachments, the sheath, uh, and another thing that you can uh, know that they are this Trachycarpus uh, fortunae, there you go, Trachycarpus fortunae, is that usually the, the base of the trunk is um, thinner than, uh, than the later trunk, the higher trunk, so anyway, that's another one, beautiful. Beautiful. We have some uh, Phoenix Robolini here. Robolini. Um, the Phoenix is the the Canary palm, um, usually from uh, the Canary Islands, but they're spread all over the world. They're a big landscape plant um, used uh, widely throughout the world, and um, these are really cool. They they're slow growers, but they, um, unlike the Phoenix Canariensis, the Robolini will uh, split into several different heads uh, with maturity, right? So you see this palm is maybe eight feet, eight, nine, nine, maybe 10 feet tall uh, at the apex of the leaves. Uh, again, uh, we call palms, we call them fronts, not leaves. So at the apex of the fronds, uh, it's maybe about 10 feet tall. You can tell this is a mature specimen. Who knows? Maybe 25, 30, maybe less. Uh, I'm not sure. Depends on soil conditions and water availability that uh, they will um, express in different uh, ways. Uh, and then what I believe to be back there, I'm not sure if I can focus it well, or if you can see it well. It's a fishtail palm, the Cariota, genus Cariota, the species, I'm not sure. I know there's a few. I believe that this is the Cariota gigas, and uh, it's the giant fishtail palm, uh, which it's an incredible uh, plant. Uh, they just grow these massive 30 foot um, fronds and uh, they can be really impressive again um, I've only seen a few here in the Bay Area um, and uh, unlike many other palms these are monocarpic the cariotas and they will uh, grow this massive plant and then once they bloom that's it, they will uh, produce fruit and the, the plant will start declining and, and end up uh, dying. So anyway, um, we have several species here and this property I've driven past it many times and uh, this is the first time that I actually stop and I said, you know what, uh, work is a little stressful right now time to do a little, little video and talk about what I love and why I'm working where I'm working it's because I love plants um, and I love interacting with them so anyway oh, 
I feel so much better now after talking a little bit about plants. Again, there's another, uh, there's a little olive tree. Beautiful, I love olive trees. And I'll do more, more videos on olive trees uh, at some other point. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope uh, this was helpful and plant more trees. Peace.